Hey everyone, Greg here. Check what I've got on the stove right down here. Potatoes. Do you know why I'm boiling potatoes? Because <laughs> I'm going to make a delicious rosemary, garlic and parmesan cheese mashed potato. Oh yum! I'm going to serve with my dinner tonight. Can't wait to make it. Let's start cooking. Well, it's already started cooking. Let's start finishing. This is Greg's kitchen. Right, well these potatoes have been cooking for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I like to boil mine for, and I cut them up sort of smallish and they boil a lot faster. I'm using approximately, how many do you reckon's in there? Oh, that was about just over half a kilo's worth. Normally for a big meal, I'd probably cook about a kilo's worth of potatoes. I'd get, <laughs> I'd get a good three, four meals out of that easy. So, just for demonstration purposes, I use about 600 grams worth. Now these are boiled. Like I said, 20 minutes. Let's just drain the water out. Be very careful when you're doing it this way because this is the crazy man's way. If you've got a crazy beard and some crazy glasses, this is the way for you. Otherwise, just use a colander to drain your potatoes out. I'll mash it over here on my cooking board thing because there's some other products that I'm going to be using in this mashed potato that I'm making today. Some butter, my favorite thing in the world. Let's not go stingy on that. Let's like put in heaps. I like to put it on the bottom. That'll start it melting away. Mm, mm, butter. Mm. Oh, sorry. Uh, where was I? Uh, rosemary. So now for this amount, I'll probably use like the 600-ish grams. I'll probably just use a teaspoon of, this is dried rosemary, you can use some fresh rosemary and, and like uh, cut it up or whatever you do with it, crush it or something. So I'll throw that in there on top of the melted butter. Garlic powder. Yummo. We'll throw some in. Oh, how much am I going to use? Ooh, for this amount, about two cloves worth, which is about that much. Oh, that's a lot, isn't it? Mm-mm. I'll pour that into that melting butter as well. Now, the parmesan. Let's see how much I've got left in this bag. There's not a lot left, which is okay because I don't really need a lot. But I was sort of going to use about a quarter of a cup's worth for this amount of potatoes. Now it's time to mash it. So in we go. Pound away. Oh, this smells so good already. Yum. Spin, press, and grind. Spin. Press and grind. Make sure you got a cool shirt on that you can like wrap your sleeves up like that and like sh show off a little bit. Now these potatoes might look a little bit chunky because I actually left the skin on them. Because <laughs> I hate peeling potatoes. I just buy potatoes that have been washed and then I don't have to wash them and peel them and do all that other stuff and there's heaps more fibre in there and everything. Pretty much, that's your mashed potatoes. Da da! All right, how about we plate some up and then we'll tuck on in for the old herd mashed potato taste test. Yes. Oh, the smell of that is just like heaven. I love mashed potatoes. Oh yeah. Look at that cheese, it's sort of just melted there. Oh, let's go. Oh, that was good. Mm, that rosemary, the garlic straight away, and that parmesan cheese. Mmm, oh, so good. I think I'm just going to eat this for dinner. I'm not going to cook the steak that I was going to have. Man, that's good. I hope you enjoy your rosemary, garlic, and parmesan mashed potatoes. Something a little bit different. I'm gonna tell you what, those little herbs in there. Mm -mm. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen.